Week 16, it's the Patriots and the Bills. This one has playoff implications and divisional implications. The Bills, as you know, have already clinched a spot in the playoffs, at least a wild card. The Patriots, they're still alive somewhat. Even with that tie in their record, if they win their next two and the Bills lose their next two, the Patriots can still win the AFC East, but if they lose this game, their playoff hopes are over. They will not make the playoffs. The first time since they came off of that 15 and 16 and 1 season where they lost in the Super Bowl. 7 6 and 1 is the Patriots' current record coming into this game. Here's Josh Allen early on. He's had a great rookie season so far, great campaign so far this season. Allen again, first and 10, steps back on the run now, decides to take off, keep it himself. He's able to get down just in time. That was a late hit. That should have been unnecessary roughness. Wasn't called. Here's Jeremy Curley. He's had a very good season so far, but somewhat cooled in recent weeks since the return of Kelvin Benjamin, but he had it going today. And here's LaShawn McCoy. He's able to cut this one to the outside, and he is gone for six. First score of the game for the Buffalo Bills. LaShawn McCoy been injured somewhat this season but he's come back recently in the second half of the season has definitely given this Bills team a really nice running dynamic here's Jordan Matthews with the catch able to pick up the first down he was almost gone for more of their late tackle effort probably saved a touchdown that wouldn't matter though as there would be holding on the play that one's coming back and the Patriots day starts off a little bit slow second 11 now here's Brady he looks a little confused there he gets brought down and sacked by Milano, third and 24. Brady steps back again, runs into his own, runs into the end zone there, and that is a safety. Just a very confusing uh, drive there. You get the big gain, and then all of a sudden you end up giving up two points. He runs all the way back there. Uh, great play by Jerry Hughes, though. Third and 10, here's Josh Allen, looks, fires, finds Curly, tight space there. Able to get that one past Van Noy. Bills now starting to drive again. Third and eight. Allen, uh, some miscommunication there. I think he thought that route was going to go a little bit further up the field. Either way, that one was uh, too far to the sideline. Here is a 58-yard field goal kicking with their back, uh, with the wind coming toward, or not coming towards them, the wind coming from the back. So able to get a really nice kick there. 58 yards as Brady gets sacked once again on third and six. Protection was an issue all day. The Bills, they were just dropping guys back in the coverage, relying on their front to really give some good pressure. And the Bills, another first down. Curly playing very well so far. Here's another catch by Antonio Callaway. Very nice. Uh, talk about a really good pickup. Not sure what the Browns were thinking as they cut him. Here's LaShawn McCoy. Almost broke another one there. He gets down to the nine. Second quarter now, Allen, look, third and goal, rolls out of the pocket, finds Jeremy Curley in the end zone for a touchdown. And the Bills, the route appears to somewhat be on here after this one. Really nice catch there by Curley. Roll out by Allen, able to find his man. See Curley, catches the ball, one step, two, touchdown. Now here comes Brady now, looks, fires, and he finds Dwayne Allen who gets upended there. Brady now, delayed handoff to White. He gets brought down at around the 42. Third and three now, Brady looks, this one, he's going deep here to Hogan, and it gets picked off by Micah Hyde. That one was underthrown. Uh, Brady, he's not going to want to see this Bills team again next year. He hopes there's no improvements because the Bills have just been giving him fits this season. Here's LaShawn McCoy again. Almost breaks this one. He gets wrapped up at the shoelaces. Third and five now. Allen looks. That one's almost picked off. Almost caught then by Curley. But the Bills are going to have to punt this one back towards the Patriots. Brady now looks, fires. He finds Julian Edelman. Edelman, he gets brought down at the 30 so like a pickup of four Brady now third and three looks finds James White he gets brought down Patriots they pick up a first down there and here is second and ten now Brady uh, tried running the screen play there but that pressure just got there too quick he didn't have time to stand in there and throw 
Here he is again, overthrowing Kevin Hogan. Now, first it was an underthrow, now it's an underthrow. Or an underthrow, now an overthrow. Excuse me there. Here's uh, the Patriots once again. Still the second quarter. Brady finds Julian Edelman. He gets brought down by Tredavious White. Brady able to work the ball to Edelman, but he wasn't really able to work it out uh, further outside. It just a lot of... It kept them in a box, really, all day long. Didn't allow them to really get outside. Here's White again. Almost gets gobbled up there, but he's able to c cut it right to the left, cut it back to the left, and able to pick up the first down. As the Bra or as the, pa the Patriots are driving, almost said the Bradyots. Here's Burkhead. He gets brought down. As it looks like the Patriots are going to drive, but then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, Brady got hit after the throw, and then it was Brian Hoyer time as we head into halftime. Here's Hoyer now, second and 13. Finds Julian Edelman. Brady, he gets brought down, pick up a five. Here comes Hoyer again, shotgun. No one in the backfield with him. He tries running up, moving up in the pocket. He gets brought down. He gets sacked. So the Patriots, they would end up having to settle for a field goal before we head into the half. And the Patriots, they would come back, or the Bills would then come back, find Jeremy Curley, pick up another first down as they drive this ball down the field again. Here comes Josh Allen again. Decides to take off and run again, and this was a big pickup for them. See Josh Allen, two rushes on the day, 30 yards total for him. Allen now again, tries cutting it outside, third and nine, could not get away. He gets wrapped up, so it would be a field goal time for them, as you see here. He kick that one and make it 22 to 3, 19 point lead. Here's Brady again stepping back. He come came back into the game. Maybe he regrets it because he got absolutely lit up right there by Shaq Lawson. Went low. Surprised that wasn't a flag. Third and 18 now. Brady stepping back, steps up. He gets sacked by the cornerback. Philip Gaines. Really nice play there. Second and seven, Allen finds Jeremy Curley on the side there, down to the 35. Allen again, first and 10, looks, finds Antonio Calloway, tries making a few men miss, wasn't able to. Third and two now, here's LaShawn McCoy, picks up the first down, now at the 20. First and 10, Allen now, looks, finds LaShawn McCoy, he picks up the first down, or... Might be inches there. That was inches. They would pick up the first down ensuing play. And here is Kelvin Benjamin in the end zone for another six. And that pretty much about put this game away on ice with the way the Patriots are playing. But you never know. Here's Brady now. Looks, fires, finds Kevin Hogan. That would probably be the biggest game they actually had up until that point. Just a struggle all day. Here's Brady again, finds Hogan. Looks like the Patriots starting to get their offense going again as, you know, just get that feeling. It looks like they're about to score here. Here's Brady, finds Dwayne Allen. Another first down at the 21 now, 19, third and eight. Brady looks, finds Gronkowski who gets popped on the play. That was up high, but that was all shoulder pad. Another field goal for the Patriots. Bills with the ball now, Allen. Looking, finds Holmes up the sideline there. They pick up the first down. Patriots, they just couldn't get off the field uh, when they really, really needed to. Here's a pitch on third and seven. Risky play call, but they're able to, it works, and they're able to get the first down. Third and five now. McCoy almost getting the first down, but the Patriots defense, they actually stand there. 48-yard field goal, but this time they're kicking into the wind, and that one definitely affected it, as that one was no good. I don't think I've ever heard of a guy making a 58-yard field goal and missing a 48-yarder. It just doesn't happen too often. Pa the Patriots will get the ball back, and that one's picked by Jordan Poyer. Poyer brings it all the way back for six as he slides into the end zone. As the nightmare day for the Patriots. Usually in situations, games like this, the Patriots, they step up and bring their A game. Not here. Jordan Poyer, he sat on that route. He read that perfectly as he brings it all the way back for six. And there's nothing the Patriots can do except watch as their playoff hopes begin to dwindle away. 
They would get the ball back. They drive down the field. Find Dwayne Allen in the end zone for six. But the damage was already done at this point in the game. Another Pages drive here with about 12 seconds left. Just playing for the scoreboard. Brady gets ripped down, sacked, fumbles the football. His third turnover of the day. Two interceptions. One fumble to go along with it as that just ends their day, ends their playoff hopes, ends their season essentially. And just a shocking turn of events for the Patriots this year. A lot of people had them pegged as the Super Bowl favorite like they are every year, but they're not even going to get back to the playoffs. Your final on this one, the Buffalo Bills 36, the Lincoln Patriots 13. The Bills now improved to 11-4, Patriots fall to 7-7-1. Seven, seven the Bills, they're definitely going to be playing for something in Week 17. Um, they can still wrap up the number one overall seed in the playoffs if they win next week and with a Titans loss. So if they improve to 12 and 4, the Titans fall to 11 and 5. The Buffalo Bills will have home field advantage throughout the entire AFC playoffs. Josh Allen, 24 of 38, 214 yards, two touchdowns. Deshaun McCoy had a touchdown as well. And uh, just a terrible day for Tom Brady. 23 of 31, 177 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions, along with a fumble.